What's up, YouTube? We are back with another card opening video. EX. Looking for some dope baseball cards. Please subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff, and let's see what we get. You're probably wondering why this box looks like it was run over by a truck. Which, I don't know. It's like crushed and looks like it's been in the light too. Like it's all kinds of messed up. Serial numbered prospects. Extraordinary inserts, serial numbered parallels, Jenny Wine coverage, game used memorabilia back when they used the real stuff. All right, 2000 Fleer. Let's see. Now, the person I bought this from, I bought it from eBay, and I paid a lot less, of course, than what they normally sell for. I think they same person has like good ones for sale for like 250 and this one I paid like 150 it's a very reputable eBay seller because they are also like an online hobby box selling store um, a very well-known popular one so I trust them even though this looks like it's got water damage too now water damage but they said the packs are mint on the inside it's just the box, just the box. so they look kind of crushed but hopefully that's not the cards and actually just the packs here these ones on top don't look too gucci but i figured if they they lied. Well, hopefully, they'll just give me a refund. But hopefully, it don't come to that. We'll see. So we got. Man, I haven't seen these since. It's been like 23 years. <laughs> this is one of the first sets of. I've actually never opened the baseball, but the football is one of the first sets I ever opened as a kid. The first ever hobby box that I got was I think 1999 or 2000 Fleer um, football which is expensive way more expensive than the baseball boxes now right. yeah look, the corners look good okay let's see Freddie Garcia Jeff Bagwell that's a Hall of Famer right. Orlando Hernandez well, I'm probably gonna need some help with these. I don't, unless they're like big names, I'm not gonna know if they're any good or not. I'm not even gonna know how to pronounce their names, most likely. I love the color on this one, though. It's nice. Sticky, sticky. Ruben Ventura. Uh, last time I opened the football one, I got like the bright lights insert. Sammy Sosa. That's a good one. I like that one. Ooh, we got an autograph. Who did we get? Jeff Weaver. Detroit pitcher, it looks like. Certificate of Authenticity, Jeff Weaver. Don't think you're guaranteed to get an auto in every box. So that's pretty good. It just says look for autographs and mem cards. Barry Bonds, that's a good one. Let's get some sleeves out. Sleeve the good dudes. We'll go a little slow roll the slow roll the vintage because it's probably the first and last time we'll ever open this because it is so rare and expensive. Man. An auto. Three packs in. It's pretty dope. is one of the Hall of Famers in a numbered parallel to really make our, our money here. Move on. Frank Thomas. I think he was good. Frank the Tank. Mike Piazza. There's an explosive insert. Randy Johnson, nice. Ooh, it's numbered too, yes. 
love me some numbered cards. Mike Piazza. Randy Johnson, what's the numbered out of? 2,499. But I bet you it's still pretty rare to find this for sale. This, this many years ago, man. Finding stuff numbered like that, it seems a lot rarer than it is today. Pull numbered stuff all the time. Derek Jeter. That's a gold prospect. Rob Bell, pitcher. At a three thousand four hundred ninety-nine, Scott Rowland, new Hall of Famer. I guess I know a little bit more about baseball than I, I think I do. <laughs> I think I can. Man, this is really nice box so far. I got such a deal on it too. Happy it's not cleaned up. Juan Gonzalez. Hey. GZX. Pat Burnell. We're at 15. Man, I love those colors too. The colors are so sweet. Jose Canseco. Man, I'm getting some goodies. I like the names we're pulling. For the base. Pragmatics on the back there. Jeff. Blue Jays, dude. It's all like. I don't know how to describe that. Like cut. Yeah, it's cut wrong. Or it's peeling. Pragmatics there. It's like this. It's one of the only ones. I mean, they all have like. Maybe a little bit appealing, but this one's this one's bad. JD Drew. Ooh, yeah, they're getting bad down here. That one's peeling. At least it's somebody I don't know the name. Brian Giles. Cal Ripken Jr. It's a nice one. Chippa, Chipper Jones, Kurt Schilling, that's a whole pack there of good dudes, good baseball dudes anyways. Okay, okay, okay. This one looks like, if anyone's damaged, it's going to be this one. Kevin Millwood. Checklist. Roberto Alomar. Barry Larkin. Pedro. Ooh, yeah, that one's terrible. Look at that. Which I don't know if it's because they were the boxes were dinged and or if that was maybe the the water. Yeah, because I showed you the staining on the box. Might have been the the staining that made them start peeling. Moisture. Beltran. Yaldu Delgado, Delgado, Carlos Delgado. Jeez, I feel like I should have known that name. <laughs> I think Beltran was on the Rangers for a while. Barry Green, don't know that one. Adam Kennedy. 
Manny Ramirez. These are some old looking jerseys compared to today's jerseys. <laughs> Mark McGuire. Oh man, look at the McGuire. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Randy Johnson. Peeling. All peeling. Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Out of all those. Of all the dudes, he's the one who survived. <laughs> Roger Clemens. Nice one. Rafael Palmiro. Garcia Parra. Maybe we got all our hits at the top of the box. I hope not. Green. That was a muff pack. It's not like our first pack, it looks like nobody. <laughs> uh oh. Don't start a streak now. Ivan Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez. Nice. Rod Helton, we got something different here. Rick and Kill, something like that. What's back here? Tony Gwynn, okay. Sleeves. Found him. Ken Griffey Jr. Man, I forget he was on the, on the Reds. Vinny. Card's like cut with another card there. Devil Rays. Manny Ramirez again. Griffey. Sleeve that Griffey. Vladimir Guerrero with the, the peeling. Ooh, did we get a die cut? Ooh. That's a good name. Sammy Sosa. Die cut card. No number. 4 to 10 XT. Got a little bit of peeling down, down there. Kirk Schilling was on the bottom. A Rod popping out again. Bishio. Derek Jeter. Bishio's got peeling. Derek Jeter and an A Rod. Okay. Got a lot of good base cards in here. Three tags left. Can we finish it off with some bangers? Darcy Parra. Mark McGuire out of 199. EX. Look at that. EX exceptional. Man, I want to rub my finger on it, but I also don't want to do that. <laughs> That's what we used to do as kids because it the sensation and the sound and the feel, it's got that sound you know Looking grooves <laughs> but we don't want to do that to this we want to keep it all minty it's definitely like 3d especially on camera it looks like you're gonna fall in that thing how dope that is 1999 mark mcguire it's got a little chipping on the back yeah on the back there you can see it by psa nine at best eight most likely 8.5, something like that. 
second to last pack, Mojo Time. Mike. Troy. The old scratch on him. Jimmy. And this was in there too. Look at that. Kevin Brown. What you doing, Kevin Brown? All that peeling. Sean Casey. It's in the middle here. Jeff Weaver. And Larry Walker to finish us off. Well, uh, let's see here. We got some dope hits. Definitely, that's the dopest. Dopest, dopest, dopest. Almost had to sleeve the whole box. <laughs> I probably, I'd probably um, sleeve even more if it wasn't for those those peeling cards. So this is the the bulk in the peelers. There, that's about I don't know, probably half. So these are sleeved. A little more than half then, because these are sleeves. So and a little more, a little more than half, probably seventy percent or bulk, and the rest are Hall of Famers, major stars, numbered inserts, etc. Prospects. So the Sammy Sosa is really good. Mark McGuire, King Griffey is really good. And anything. There's an insert. Cheater insert is good too. Glavin. Cal Ripken. Insert. Canseco. We only got one prospect in that whole box. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Jeter. Scott Rowland. Oh yeah, the Randy Johnson. That one was dope too. Yeah, explosive. I like it. Autograph, Jeff Weaver. I mean, it sounds familiar, the name. I don't know if he's like a Hall of Famer or just a star or, or anything. I'll have to look him up. Jeff Weaver. Bagwell, Sosa, and a Barry Bones. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything I didn't sleep. Peace.